Hey, you guys. It's the first. It's the first. It's the first. Ah, uh, is it the first? I think it's the first. Yep, it's the first. It's the first of January. Happy New Year, motherfuckers. And it's the first, and it's a Sunday. Do you know what that means? Shout my stash. Audition. So what new goodies or old goodies am I going to use this year? If you want to know what, then stay tuned. I swear, my cat loves my chair. He can sit in here all the time. Sometimes he sit in the behind me while I'm sitting, and I was like, nope, you're not doing that today. You're not doing that today. All right, so first, let's get into palettes. So eyeshadow palettes. We have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered. I mean, this is still in her arsenal. Still available. You can still get it. And this is going to be, I know that I said that last year, but this is going to be my last year of having this palette. I'm really going to try to get my use, get my looks out of it. And then it's no more remastered. I mean, I already got a dip in here. And I'm creating a dip in here. You know, I got dips in here. I hit pan in here, though. So I'm just I'm trying to get my uses out of it, but we all know how that goes because I tried that with the IB Quiet Beauty palette, and I just I was just so into my new palettes. Speaking of a new palette that didn't really get that much love, this is the Meet Meet Matchmaker from the Bomb. This is still in their arsenal. I can still use it. It's basic AF and is basically what I use on a daily basis the colors I mean now this is my New Year's Eve look my New Year's Eve look was with this palette my New Year's Day that's coming up because the party tonight look this palette everything else this palette you can see it on my TikTok my Instagram it will be down below but yeah, just gonna use this like in the beginning of the week. And then the rest of those two palettes. <sighs> I love this color scheme. This is so cute. It's just cute. It gives me cute vibes. And I love this glitter right here. Mm. Give me Barbie vibes. Bronzer Duo. You guys know this was my favorite last year. And I have to start off with a favorite this year same thing with the highlight this is the highlighting palette from ace Beauté. ace Beauté. i might i might buy some stuff in this year i don't know i'm kind of want to try glow cosmetics glow gimme or whatever cosmetics i mean i did try midas i might try lethal i don't know i want to try new stuff this year foundation again another favorite uh, this is the best skin ever Sephora foundation but I'm also doing the concealer sneak peek of what I'm trying out and testing out this year then I have the item beauty concealer and then I have the Sephora micro smooth again another favorite and then I had the Marc Jacobs powder, a favorite, but you can never get it again, so I'm trying to get rid of it. Uh, for the primer, I have the Hangover RX from Too Faced. You know how I feel about Too Faced. I just love their primers and their mascaras. Why can't they just have everything good, okay? For me, for my collection, for me, because some people, everything is good for them. But for me, it's not. I don't like their powder either. A lot of people like their powder. I don't like their powder. For blush, we have the Cargo Blush in Laguna. This I'm trying to use up this year because this is the last time I'm going to have this blush. I'm getting rid of it after this year. All right. D Slick, Urban Decay. 
This is the makeup setting spray oil control. Controls everything. And then for primer, we have the Georgette Maralula primer. This is one of my favorites. I try to use this sparingly because this is a lot of money and I kind of don't want to replace it right now. <laughs> this for brows, we have Persona Brow Gel in brown. This is what I had on my brows, I think for my favorite video or for my Get Ready With Me video. That's one of them. Um, for lip balm, we have the Smashbox, the Mindful 5. I like this lip balm. This is a cute lip balm. For right now, I have Sin from MAC Cosmetics on my lips. And this is from MAC. This is Double Fudge. It's just like a nice red brown shade. And then we have Tartius. Another. Oh. I always get Tarte and Too Faced mixed up because I can't use their concealers or their foundations. It just doesn't work on my skin tone. And yes, they have dark, deep enough stuff for people that's dark skin, but the undertone's off for me. And that's what I don't like. It's like, it's my complexion, but the undertone's off. So yeah, Tarte Lip and Crop, uh, crop Top. Tartius Lip Paint and Crop Top. Then we have my favorite lip gloss from Compass Culture. I was about to say Culture Complex. Um, Compass Culture and I don't know, and Euphoria. And then we have for mascara, we have the Polo Talk Push Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. I like this for a natural day. And then a big bang, bad girl bang from Benefit. They both have like the similar type of field with the spikiness. It gets just right into those lashes. Like, it gets right into them, which I love. I love a type of mascara wand. And then we have for liner, ColourPop Liquid Liner, which is one of my faves. And that's it for this video. That's all that's in the box. And that's what I'm going to be using on my face throughout this month. Happy New Year and get drunk, B. <laughs> um, I know I will. Deuces. The video right here, the video right here, right here. I'm about to do my TikTok makeup, you know, do your look. Go check that out.